So, <laughs> we are about to have breakfast. The last meal here in the cruise. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Very nice to meet goodbye. you. It See you next pleasure. time. See you. You use glasses as well? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Kuwait, it's my first time and in Spain, we're going for some tour now. And here, yeah, we're supplying the jobs for the local relocated people. Yeah, in this new county, uh, we have the textile factory, embroidery factory, and also drinks factory. We could try to stop this. You have to check this out. We're in the gorgeous, three gorgeous project. It's really impressive. The construction over here. I found these beautiful flowers over here Although it's like super cold But they are in full bloom here On our way to the airport, Yichang airport We will fly to Shenzhen, our beloved city And I just have something to say which is like if it was about the food, I will make some improvements. The food, actually, everybody got tired of it by time because mm, the choices were too Chinese and the Western options weren't that flavorful. We found out that the taste wasn't that... It was not bad, but it was not... It was just mass production. Even other foreigners were like, oh, again, we have to eat just because we have to fill our tummies. But if we had the choice, we wouldn't choose to eat this food again. And even the fruits weren't that ripe. And of course, for vegans, you can just survive. Nothing very much pleasant. So if they will ask me how would I rate the cruise, I will say like the room was really comfortable and we could sleep super sweet. But I didn't really much enjoy the food because first of all there weren't so many vegan options of course. And they didn't invite me with the premise of having vegan foods. But anyhow, like there were some fruits but many of the fruits were not ripe. And some vegetables but usually always every time each time all the vegetables that were available were full of oil and so not even the other foreigners will enjoy it after a second day or third day on the cruise where we're like oh just on survival mode eating whatever is that it's given because uh, for our surprise there is not a little shop where you can buy fruits or other things Okay, hello! Hello! So, um, what do you think of the cruise? Here's a guest. Uh, my name is Jim, and I, what I thought of the cruise was um, it's not something for the winter. I think it'd be more beautiful if it's taken during the summertime. Yeah, totally. I, I think the food needs a lot of improvements. <laughs> I totally agree with that. And, I'm a vegan and I had some troubles, but yeah. also, like, non vegans had yeah. the same. It, and it's the food choice is not the greatest. Um, and I think the organization needs to be, it needs to be better organized as well. I think it's, there's, there's a lot of confusion 
especially because there was a lot of people yes and I think like they were not prepared to attend that many people yes. I'm not sure if they always get that many people but it was kind of you know the first night we had yeah. to wait for like one hour for yeah. dinner like yeah. lining up for the buffet yeah and then it was not organized the first night because you were not assigned tables and okay. you could not find a place to eat because there were so many people yeah. better the other nights yeah but the first night was very unorganized unfortunately yeah well that's weird because they said like this is one of the best top cruises yeah in China. and that's what I heard as well and five was, star yeah <laughs> and I was a little disappointed yeah as also another thing that I have to say is like I had big luggage because I brought with me a lot of stuff uh -huh. and I saw a lot of elderly here in the yes. cruise actually cruises sometimes mainly are for you know people that are retired and want to enjoy life yes. And some of them bring a lot of luggage from the USA or whatever country that they are traveling from. And on the way down, they, there was not staff from the cruise to help them. Yes. Like, I didn't like that idea. There was not a ramp to go down. You had to go down downstairs. Yeah. And that is not very comfortable for a five-star team to do. Yeah. Like, and I think they should let people know ahead of time, because on some of the shore excursions, there's a lot of walking and a lot of steep walking, which is not for, for, unfortunately for elderly people, it can be very physically taxing on them. Yeah, especially, as I said, uh, there were some people that were, you know, just retired people that had to go upstairs and it was super hard heal that perhaps they don't yes. even can walk anymore that hard and it's like, oh, yeah, so tough. Yeah, but it would be a beautiful uh, cruise in the summer, not so good in the winter, yeah, but not there's so some, good in the winter. but a lot of improvement need to be made yeah for the food I will say like more vegetables without that much oil yes and the Western food if the Western food really tastes like the Western food that will be just okay yeah. I don't think it tasted like Western food because I was disappointed in that Listen, as well he's a Chinese uh, original yeah. uh, from China uh, no I was born in the United States okay but I his still parents, have family here his parents China. are from China yes and he's saying this statement yeah. so <laughs> don't take me like oh you're just a foreigner and you don't like the food no yeah. It's true. The food needs improvement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks a lot for okay, sharing your you. review. Okay. And see you next time. Okay, bye-bye. On our plate to Shenzhen and they are giving away dinner. But I forgot to order vegan or vegetarian meal. Actually, I don't travel often in planes, so I was not aware of that little detail. If you're gonna travel in China in plane and you have some Yinya food restrictions be aware to make that on advance otherwise they will not have you on the list and perhaps they will not have your special food prepared they just surprised us with some vegan vegetarian meals that they had at the back because we forgot to pre-order so be aware if you're gonna travel in plane in China to pre-order Okay, usually I will not eat rice like I haven't eaten rice for like about maybe three years but today I was so very hungry and there was nothing available on the airport that I just ate some rice and look how I am super red because of the oil <laughs> oh, I ate rice finally after a few years of not eating rice okay at least they have some vegan meals here
don't forget to like and subscribe as well to leave me your lovely comments below because I'm gonna be very excited to give you a heart and a reply very very soon I'll see you on my next video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you wish become Patreon <laughs>